Hey guys, this is Andrew and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make bao buns today. It's a perfectly warm summer day here and it's perfect for uh, raising things with yeast. Really simple and easy recipe. People usually just use their hands or like um, a spatula, but if you have one of these, a KitchenAid, this would make your life so much easier. And I'm gonna be using one today just because I want my buns to be perfect. Yeah, so let's let's get started. All right, so let's uh, measure our ingredients first. First, we're gonna need 180 grams of all-purpose flour, right? 180 grams of flour, three grams of yeast. This is instant, instant yeast, and you'll need three grams of it because it's just a half batch of a recipe. Three grams of baking powder. This is calumet, already been opened, as you can see. Doesn't matter. The baking powder will actually make sure that uh, when you steam, the buns later won't um, shrink or it won't drop, basically. So it'll uh, keep its shape when, uh, once you steam it. I'm gonna put um, 40 grams of sugar. And I actually like to put a pinch of salt just because I think it just balances everything out. It, uh, it doesn't have it in the recipe, but for good measure, just it'll bring out all the flavors and all that stuff. So it's a good thing and just mix it up with a rubber spatula or whatever you have and set it aside. We need um, 100 grams of warm milk. So 100 grams of this, 100 grams, 100 ml, not grams. And then we're gonna add about 10 grams of shortening this will make the buns nice and soft and not dry when you eat it later um, you can just use oil and the recipe says oil but i prefer to use shortening because i don't know i just want to be different all right just, just just do it 20 grams of this i'm just gonna warm this up in the microwave a little bit heat this up at the microwave like 30 seconds you don't you don't want it to be too hot or else I don't know, the yeast might die. I'm not really sure, I'm not a baker, but put this in the microwave for a minute or something, just make sure it's warm. All right, so now the milk is nice and warm now. So yeah, we need a dough hook for this recipe. I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like. Add the milk and the shortening mixture just slowly so that it'll incorporate in the flour and it'll mix. So as you can see, the, I mixed the flour and the milk. Now, at this point, I'm just gonna lower it down a little bit, but yeah. All right, so that was my bad. This machine can't take a small amount of flour. It means I gotta knead it by hand. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that since I'm a dumbass. Just make sure your uh, your board, sorry, your your table is nice and clean. Shabazz some uh, flour over there. Get this unmixed mixture. Actually, you know what? Just mix it in the bowl first and form the ball here. So you just want to knead the dough until it's nice and smooth. This will take about five minutes. Would have been faster. A kitchen aid for sure, but you know, everything's an experiment. You know, just gotta just gotta learn how to do things. Just keep kneading it until the ball is nice and smooth. All right, so that literally took like five minutes. You can form this into a bowl and how you do that is just pinch from the bottom and just keep pinching in the bottom until you get a nice ball of dough like that. Add a bit of flour in the bottom, just a little bit. Doesn't, doesn't have to be a lot. Put this dough, let it rest, let it, uh, let it double in size for like an hour, an hour and a half, and then just cover it up. Put it in a warm place covered. And then I'll come back to you after an hour or so. So, so it's been about an hour and a half. It took way longer than I anticipated. Uh, but it's doubled in size-ish. Now we want to punch the airs out. Let's just make them into balls. All the same, same grams. 60 gram balls. And do this to every to all the dough, so we have equal amounts, equal sizes of everything. So what we wanna do is roll this really nice and smooth. So you, when you roll dough to make it really nice and cohesive, you wanna use the back of your pinky and then you wanna push the bottom, like bottom of the dough, like that. I wish I could show you uh, in slow-mo, but I'm by myself, I can't just, you know, push it towards you inside to create 
a nice ball of dough like that. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. For these balls of dough, I got a unusually large rolling pin. And then you wanna punch the middle and then just make it into an oblong shape. And you know what? If you're happy with the thickness, then good. It's a little bit thinner. This is a little large for me. Create like this shape right here. It's about a quarter of an inch. I can't tell. I like, you really can't tell. I have here some oil, just regular, I think this is vegetable oil. And I'm just gonna put oil in the middle because this is the part where we fold it just like that. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, oh, that looks like a bow bun already, but this this will um, this will actually expand more in the steamer. I've already cut some paper for baking baking paper, uh, parchment paper. I'm just gonna put it like that. That's one. That's one bun right there, and I'm gonna do it to the rest of them. <laughs> Once you're done shaping the the dough, just put it in a steamer and like in a nice way. I can't really show you right now. Just arrange it in a way that. They don't stick together. As you can see, the water's boiling. Now we can cook the buns for 10 to 12 minutes. Don't forget. I was making this yesterday and I forgot to add baking powder. I was my dumbass. I had a lot, but 10, 12 pieces of buns and I only got to use one. Took a picture on Instagram and a lot of people were asking that I should make a video of it or maybe they were just really asking for the recipe. But I still made a video of it because I love you guys. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's foie gras. It's F-U-A-G-R-A-S. Just uh, just putting it out there. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated because they were, they're huge. So this is about 15 minutes of cooking it. Look at the big boys. <laughs> they look soft, soft, nice and soft. Transfer these beautiful buns. I wish I had a bigger tong, but all I have are these tweezers right now. I'm a dumbass. A tool for these, get a bigger tong. Enjoy some B-roll of these buns. All right, so my buns are finally done. I made two because two is better than one, yeah? So I only put pork tenderloin here uh, and I just made it like a sweet soy sauce on it. Pickled red onions and some chopped green onions. So twice the onion flavor. So time for the taste test. The buns are nice and soft. They're literally like, sorry. They're literally like straw pot buns. If you have sauce, it'll just absorb it really good. Mm. Second time to charm, I think I nailed it. The, the dough, I mean, the buns are a little bit thick for most people, but I think they're fine. It wasn't uh, hard to eat. It was easy to stuff things in it. And it's pretty good. So if you want to try this recipe out, I'm going to list down the proper measurements and ingredients down below and hopefully you try this recipe at home so till next time guys peace